You're watching America This Morning, America's number one early morning news. And as the investigation into the tragedy moves forward, there is a key question that remains just who is Aaron Alexis? Before they are done, profilers will be talking to just about everyone who ever knew him. What those profilers are likely to begin seeing is a study in contradictions. Aaron Alexis was a convert to Buddhism. A friend in Texas says he used to meditate with Alexis at the Buddhist temple in Fort Worth. He's a good guy, you know, I mean, from, from what I know, you know, I can't say that he didn't or not, but well, once he's with me, it's nothing, nothing to be like, tell me that he's going to be aggressive or no sign that he's going to shoot someone. But Alexis's father once told detectives in Seattle, where his son once lived, that his son had anger management problems. He complained about being a victim of discrimination and about the Navy. He just didn't seem like he would be that kind of person that would be that upset enough to go out and do something like this. So that's why we were, were confused. Alexis worked at a Thai restaurant in Texas. He traveled to Thailand and could speak to customers in their native language. Those who knew him can't hide their disbelief. Not making much sense to us, and it's really sad that he's he's gone already and that he took 12 other people with him. One thing that is clear is that Alexis was not a loner. He had friends, a support network. He had some car trouble, he had some things that were going wrong. He asked me for some help in every way I could. But he also says Alexis was passionate about video games and would stay up all night playing them. I encouraged him every chance I could get, but that was because I didn't want him to get discouraged, you know. But obviously he got discouraged about something. I just wish I knew what it was. I really do. I wish I, I wish I just wish this never happened. That same friend tells ABC News that Alexis used to joke about shooting people while playing violent games and that he started missing work because of his video game habit. Now, obviously something investigators will be looking into on this day after still disbelief. Here's a look at the day ahead. The White House says President Obama has ordered flags to be lowered to half staff honoring the shooting victims. They will be, uh, it'll remain uh, at half staff until sunset on Friday. On Capitol Hill, the House will observe a moment of silence this evening. A Senate committee hearing today on stand your ground laws has been postponed. And the Washington Nationals, which had postponed their game against the Braves last night, will be made up that game this afternoon, 1 p.m. as part of a split double header. And stay with ABC News and ABCNews.com as we cover all of the developments in the Navy Yard shootings. Live team coverage coming up on Good Morning America.